And here's a look at the tail of the tape. Uh, you can see Haji certainly has the reach advantage, four and a half inches over Matt Sales. He also is taller by an inch. This is going to be a dandy. Jason Herzog, keep your head on a swivel because there could be a lot going on in the octagon here in just a matter of moments. First round, fight, are you ready? Fight, are you ready? Let's fight. Six and oh for Haji against six and one for Sales. Yeah, we see Haji likes to switch stances, but he just ate one clean there. A clean right hand to the button. Buckled his legs a little bit, but he seems okay. He's composed now. Sales in the blue, Haji in the burgundy. Oh, again. Matt Sales has set his stall out. He's looking for that right hand knockout right from the get go. You know, moves like that are great. They look flashy, they're amazing, but they don't necessarily land. And this is. Very telling, the fact that the kickboxer, the flashy kickboxer is looking for a takedown means he doesn't like what he just experienced on the feet. Yeah, went for that single leg, couldn't get it. Matt Sales, three finishes in 115 or less in his pro MMA career. Lone loss to George Hickman back in 2016 after winning his first five pro fights. Sales just looks so calm and composed, like he's been there a million times before. Of course, doing Muay Thai for such a long time. Nice move there from Yazin. Cheeky little flip. Sales says, you know what? He's not worried on. about that. Ooh. Swings that right hand with bad intentions. And there oh, he is! Him with the straight right. Two. He's recovered though. He has got power in his hands. It's unreal. He's covering up now. Referee's gonna stop in then, step in any second. Keeps going out of it that left round and pound. They're not getting through, but you gotta do something. Sales like the energizer yeah. bunny here. He's moved just in time. Referee was about to step in. This isn't good. And full Everybody mount, here. the end is nigh. He's trying to get out of there, but it's not enough. Yeah, here we go. Sales is just pouring it on. One at after this the point. other. Wow. Sales. And that's wow. how you do it. That's an impressive performance. I do not envy. You know what? Usually in life, I envy Dana White. Not tonight. I don't know how you make a decision. I feel like there are four worthy winners tonight who could earn a UFC contract. I know who I would pick. Yeah? But I'm not going to say. Oh, do you want, that's, that's what we call a tease in the television business. Let's take a look at it again. It was another pretty quick fight. We're gonna take a look at the first right hand that landed right at the start of the fight. We see here, perfect timing. Kind of an overhand landed right on the, on the jawline. And here's the second one. Boom, as he was kind of turning his head, went down, drops, looked like he was gonna be out, but he recovered. Yazin Haji showing some good recovery skills there. But Sales just swarmed all over him, got full mount. And then from there, it was only a matter of time before the referee stepped in. Haji trying to, you know, thrust around and trying to get him off him, but it wasn't enough. One after the other, referee steps in. Amazing performance, calm, composed, picked his shots perfectly. Sales likes volume, and you could see volume there once he got Haji on the ground. Normally a very calculated striker, he was just setting him up and putting him down. Let's go to Laura Senko to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jason Herzog has called a stop to this bout at one minute and 57 seconds of round number one, declaring your winner by TKO, Matthew Sales.